Today we are making fresh cranberry relish using a, a meat grinder that has been in the family for at least one or two generations for sure. I mean, it's uh, antique. So all we do is uh, get the fresh cranberries and orange. And, and orange and grind them up. And then we add some sugar later on. Yeah, but but tell them you gotta set it all up. Oh, you gotta set it all up. This thing is like mounts. We gotta mount it on a, a board here. And there's gonna be some that drips right there in that bowl. We're gonna save that. That's the good stuff. So here we go. Okay, now we're grinding. Let's see, what's out there? Once in a while you lose one. There we go. This is the old fashioned way. Just watch your fingers and the meat grinder. Yeah, right. I don't call it a meat grinder for nothing. Look at that way. Yeah, see what you mean? You get some extra drippings in the bowl down there. Yeah, you can even use those in the, to add to the relish to moisten it. That's why you want to save, capture as much as you can of it. Yeah. All right. Well, you get the idea. We've got a lot more to do here. And well, uh, so stay you tuned. use oh, okay. So you ahead. use the whole orange and the rind. Oh, really? Yeah. The whole yeah. thing goes in. The whole thing. In. Really? Wow. Yeah. No idea. It goes right in. See? It goes right through. It comes right through. Dang. Impressive. Okay. So then... Do one more. Look at that way. So we'll show them the rest later. Okay. Here we go. We're going to keep busy. We're going to get busy on this and uh, stay tuned. We're on Action Live. Okay. So we've grown about two and a half bags of fresh cranberries and about an orange and a half, large orange and a half with a whole, the whole rind and everything. So rule of thumb is that you uh, maybe do like a cup of sugar for every bag of cranberries but you can just like play it by ear you can always add more sugar so I always do a little less and I can always add more like after it sits for a while and you taste it so I'm gonna do I did two and a half bags of cranberries so I'm gonna do like maybe a cup and a half of sugar just to start with and like I said, you can always add more sugar. So less is more, and you can always add. And then I always, and then I do like for that amount of cranberries, I'd probably do about a cup of chopped pecans. And you can also always add more of those too. Just put that in, and then you just like toss it together. And you just like let it sit for a day and then you know you just kind of taste it and see what you think. You can always add more sugar if you want to. You can always add more pecans if you want to. But like it's kind of like a ad lib sort of thing, you know, just uh Rule of thumb is a cup of sugar for every bag of cranberries, but I, I kind of think that's a little too much, so I always like hold back a little bit, and it usually ends up perfect, and you know, you can always add more sugar. Look at that, the sugar just dissolved right in there. How about yeah. that? 
All right, and so we're going to let it sit for a day. We're going to let it sit for a day, and you do a taste test and add more if you want to. And so this is Sunday, and uh, so Thanksgiving is Thursday, so we got a couple days. And the thing, and the thing about the relish is it will last in the refrigerator for several weeks. So, or you can, I think you can freeze it. I'm pretty sure you can freeze it. But it will last in the in the fridge for several weeks. So, okay. There you go. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to uh, continue this, or this might be it. If you like, if this was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have a great day. Mm -hmm. Bye and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>